what I want to show you is um, logic. So we created the logic for our thing. Now I want to create buttons. So we're going to call this uh, touch button uh, talk. So pretty much what I want to do in here is instead of running our function or running the code that I want, I'm going to tell it to run a specific function. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to say this dot um, send message. And we're going to send it the message of uh, whatever we want. So I'm going to call, uh, I'm going to say this is on touch down or on touch begin. So you can name this whatever you want. You can name it like pancakes or strawberries. In fact, I'll do that for a uh, on touch ended, just you know, so you so you can see, and so I can have a little bit of fun. So send message. Um, let's see what I want to say. New Hampshire. All right. So we got a uh, on touch began in New Hampshire. Uh, we don't need mouse button anymore. All right, so um, normally, like in a normal script, you would see instead of send message, you would see, uh, like if you wanted to call a function that you've written, you would you would just say on touch began, again, and it would look like that. But since we're not actually defining that um, function in here, this is just our logic for it, we need to send the message. So you can equate this to um, mouse down. It's like in mono behavior, it's not like the mono behavior script is not saying, oh, on mouse down, parentheses, semicolon. It's going to send whatever messages. So, yeah, all right. So, yeah, we need to send this. We need to send message because fun. Okay, it is not present in this script. All right. So in our touch button talk, that is where we're going to use our functions. So it'll look uh, it'll look the same as this. So we don't need update and we don't need start. Instead, we just use our functions that we defined in here, which is on touch began and New Hampshire. I'm going to say put these in there. Oh, and um, we're not going to inherit from mono behavior anymore. We're going to inherit from our logic, our touch button logic. Uh, so it will still, it'll inherit from touch button logic, which will have all of this code, all of this logic, and it will also have all the functions from mono behavior. So if we go back into our buttons and remove our logic script and replace it with our talk script, it will do the exact same thing. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, and so since we have this logic, it keeps our actual button code a lot cleaner. So like instead of having all of this, we just, we don't have to look at all of that, we just have these. Um, and we could also create more like buttons that just also inherit from the touch button logic. So we'll call this one touch button uh, color. And in here, we could, like as long as we call our functions that we specified, uh, 
um, our script will know our script will know what touch began in New Hampshire mean. So in here we could say like uh, camera dot main camera eh, dot color dot background color equals color dot black sure. So when we touch down it'll do black and then we'll go uh, we'll go green. So these are our talk buttons. I'm gonna duplicate those and move them down. Um, Let's see, those are the talk buttons, and these are the touch, uh, color buttons. So move the right there. All right. So now we can use our functions that we described in our touch button logic for any functions that we want to run when the player touches. So that's for the button that will talk to us, and then that one changes the color. So there you go. That's a, a simple way to do button touches for touch screens. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe if if uh, if I helped.